Hi guys, welcome to this full review about this GoLabs solar panel. The model is SF100, so that's their top of the line solar panel. It's a portable solar panel with foldable kickstand for power stations, of course suitable for outdoor and it's supporting a lot of different output powers up to 20 volts, also USB even with quick charge. And the really big thing here is that it is very stable, very robust, very sturdy. This is the most sturdy solar panel which I've ever tested so far. And uh, yeah, it comes also with this accessory pocket here. There's one cable already fully attached. You can see that here, that's one which a lot of very powerful power stations are using. But here we have also the other options like the normal 5 volt USB, then quick charge USB, then USB-C with up to 45 watts, and then the 18 volts DC output which you can use almost everywhere. So you can see a lot of compatibility, very nicely packaged here. So you can nicely close it even when you have it outside here and then just open it from the top here or so or while you're using it then only open it from below or so something like that that it's even more uh, water protected and the pocket is also working as one of the four kickstands you can see that here and you can see also this hole here and this is for the ground stakes. It comes with four very solid ground stakes which you can use uh, to secure it. But usually this is so massive uh, that's usually not needed. I have even been able to use it like that. Just uh, put it like this, uh, not even using the kickstand or not using the ground stake. Just setting up like this. Uh, even with strong wind and really nothing happened. You can use it like this or like this. But, but of course, if you want to optimize the panel close to 100 watts, then you have to use the kickstand. By the way, it's very easy to open. Uh, you can just unfold it and then also the other panels unfold it. Unfortunately, I have a little bit limited space here, but it works really, really good. And uh, we have for every panel, we have really for every single panel, we have a kickstand. For most of the four panel solar panels, you have just two kickstand. Here we have four of them. And for me, the four kickstand instead of two are an extreme Plus, I have seen really many already with only two and so they were wobbling around, they were not uh, in a straight line. It's almost impossible to line them up perfectly in a 90 degrees angle against the sun. So with this one, total different thing, it looks absolutely professional. And the panels itself, they are very, very strong. I haven't seen so strong, so nicely built panels like this, you can see that here inside how well how nicely they are built absolutely perfect all the edges all the seams all the stitches everything's absolutely perfect built and very very solid and another big advantage of the solid panels solid kickstands and the large size of the solar panels is also that it can provide really good shade and even weather protection for a power station like the GoLabs R300 which fits perfectly between the kickstands. And again we get a lot of accessories also this uh, user manual I'm going to show you that pretty quickly maybe it can help you to make a better buy decision or if you both used and lost your instructions this can always help. And we get also nice support cards, so in case you have any problems, this could also help. How I've tested this is with their own GoLabs power station. That's the R300 and it has been working together perfectly. So if you're looking for the perfect combination, then just buy these two things. They are working really nicely together. I mean, of course, you can switch these things out. Usually they should work with other things too, but you never know. I've already tested many solar panels and power stations and even though they were supposed to work together they have been throwing some errors or just not working or so so if you're looking for the perfect combination that could be the one because it's so simple works nicely together it comes with this cable you don't even have to uh, deal with this specific solar uh, connections so you can just take this cable and plug it in here 
and plug it in here and it will automatically start to charge so easy this is the only thing which you have to consider is of course that the maximum input of this uh, power station is only 60 watts but that's already a lot and you have to be in a really perfect situation that you get 100 watts output out of a 100 watts solar panel here the maximum which i've been reaching was 70 watts and it's still winter we have only uh, beginning of february there were a little bit of clouds and it was already in the afternoon so not at peak of the day so it's definitely possible to get much more than this 70 watts i have no doubt that we can reach 100 watts in perfect situation but usually in normal situation i think 60 watts uh, transfer would be okay you can also at the same time attach other things if you have excess power here from the solar panel so the charging has been working really good i haven't tested all the cables here but we have really a lot you can see what you can do it is absolutely phenomenal what we get also the ground stakes then another adapter here and if this is still not enough we get additional adapters i haven't seen such an amount of adapters and cables before and i've also tested all the usb outputs in detail and so you can see the result here that's the usb c i hope you can see that mirroring a little bit but you can see how much compatibility we have uh, the usb c was showing 35 watts maybe that's just the protocol but i can definitely confirm that i had much more i think the peak of the pd or usb c output was around 43 watts which is very close to the maximum maximum which you can get from usb c is 45 watts and here also the result from the quick charge that's the one here so we can see also a lot of compatibility quick charge 2.0 3.0 apple specific samsung standard and so on really nice and the last one i've tested is the normal usb uh, usb a and you can see also 2.4 amps at 5 volts so everything has been fully delivering so again very solid very robust if you are looking for the most solid 100 watt solar panel that's probably the one for you if, if you love to be outside in heavy weather strong storm wind rain whatever this could be the absolute perfect panel for you it has also this nice handle here so you can easily carry around so I'm super happy with it and I can give you full recommendation on that and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching. See you next time.